everybody, it's Katie from Paradise Falls Family. In this video, we'll be talking you through our stay in Monterey, California over the summer just gone, so it was August 2022. We stopped over in Monterey on our way up the coast from Los Angeles to San Francisco. We drove up the Big Sur coast in the morning and we'll cover that part of our trip in a separate video. We arrived in Monterey early afternoon. The main reason for our stop here was to take the kids to the Monterey Bay Aquarium, the inspiration for the aquarium in the film Finding Dory. We'd pre-booked our tickets to ensure we could visit on the day we wanted. This came to around $170 for a family of four. We arrived at 2pm and easily spent a few hours enjoying the aquarium. We loved seeing the impressive kelp forest and open sea tanks and the kids loved the otters and penguins. There were loads of interactive exhibits which the kids always love. We spent ages at the touch pool playing with the stingrays. We also spent time outside at the tide pool where we could see otters playing in the ocean. They had binoculars available for anyone to use and had guides on hand to chat us through the wildlife that had already been spotted that day. Our visit fell on a Saturday afternoon and it was incredibly busy, so we'd recommend building in some extra time and arriving earlier rather than later if you're also there on the weekend. The aquarium doesn't have its own parking lot and we struggled to find parking nearby as all the parking lots we had marked down were full. We eventually managed to get parked further along Cannery Row for around $20 in the end. It worked out well though as we were able to have a walk along the historic street, taking in the sights like the John Steinbeck statue. Many of the novels he wrote, such as Cannery Row and Of Mice and Men, are set in this area, as it's where he was born. We also spotted a few seals and otters playing in the bay as we walked, which was lovely. We then decided to move on to Fisherman's Wharf for tea. It's about a 25 minute walk along the coast from the aquarium to Fisherman's Wharf. On a sunny day, I'm sure this would be lovely, but we were really short on time and the weather had turned, so we decided to move the car to the other side of town. Over the summer, the free Monterey trolley runs from one side of town to the other, which I think we all would have loved. Unfortunately, this stopped at 6pm, so it just didn't work for us on this day. We were able to easily find a multi-storey car park right by the wharf for just a few dollars, so we parked up and had tea there. I have to say this was the highlight of our day as we discovered hundreds of sea lions resident at the wharf, far more than we were expecting to see. The kids absolutely loved watching them play in the marina. It's impossible to describe the noise, we literally followed it to see what the racket was. Check out the spectacular sight we were greeted with for yourselves with this video clip. <laughs> the wharf itself had all the usual shops and restaurants and we ate at the Rockfish Harbour Grill at the end of the pier, somewhere we definitely recommend. We had a meal for a family of four, about $100. The great views of the marina so we could watch the sea lions playing while we ate. And with that, our afternoon in Monterey was over. We made our way to the hotel nearby in Salinas. We'd have loved to spend more time in Monterey and it's definitely somewhere we'd like to go back to. In particular, we'd love to stay at the Intercontinental on Cannery Row. We originally booked in here but had to rearrange due to the pandemic. Walking past, it looked an absolutely gorgeous place to stay. If we'd have had more time, we'd have loved to have taken in a whale watching cruise and spent some time at the beach. But unfortunately, it was just a flying visit in the afternoon this time. Let us know if you have any other recommendations in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of our trips. Thank you for watching. Bye.